Hello, in this video, I will demonstrate a new feature in Sierra chart, which is a very nice feature. It's called user profit loss management. And what this feature allows you to do is set a daily net loss limit, as well as daily profit limit rules, as well as flatten or set your account into liquidation only mode when a certain time of day is reached. And this feature is all controlled on the server. What this means is that when one of these rules has been met and your account has been triggered into liquidation only mode or your positions have been flattened, you are essentially locked out of your trading account. You cannot even call your broker to get back in until the next trading day. So this is a nice feature. It can help traders to build their discipline and to uh, have better risk management over the long term. Now, this feature is primarily intended for day trading because it works on a timer when the futures market in Chicago reopens at 6 p.m. Eastern. The calculations for the daily net profit and loss are going to be reset at that time. I'm connected to trading evaluator, so I'll just show you how that's done. I'll go up to global settings, data trade service settings. And then under current selected service, I'm connected to trading evaluator. So I'll press OK. If you're not already connected, do file reconnect. So the way you look at the state of this functionality is by going into the um, edit trade account menu. And that's why you should go watch the video called simulated futures trading service, because that video shows how to create and set up trade accounts, including setting up the margins. So I'm going to go up to trade, trade account monitor balances window. And I'm going to select the account that I want to work on here today, which will be account three. So once you've selected it, you see it gets highlighted. Then I'll click manage, edit trade account. Okay. Then at the top here, I will go over to user profit loss management. This is where this functionality is controlled. So you can see we have four header items, profit management, trail daily net profit, loss management, as well as flatten positions at time. We have the commit button, and then at the very bottom, we have the read-only values. The read-only values are important for monitoring the state of the functionality, basically to tell you um, if anything has been triggered and what's going on, basically. So I'll start by explaining the functionality. It's not that complex, and then I will do an example to show you how it works. So first, let's start with profit management. So for profit management, loss management, as well as flattened positions at time, What's really nice is that you can control the action independently um, based on if you want to set your account into liquidation only mode or to actually flatten the positions in your trading account when the rules have been met. To turn on profit management, you have to set the first item to yes. Now, even if it says flatten all positions when profit rules met, it's not necessarily going to flatten all your positions. What it's going to do is use whatever action you set in the final item here. Let's start off. If I set the profit trigger value in account currency to 1000, what this means is that when we have an open profit of $1000, it is going to trigger the next setting right here. And what the next setting is, is it allows you to set an amount lower than your profit trigger value. And it's setting what I would call a floor. So you would set this to a lower number. Let's say you set it to 800. What this means is that once your profit trigger value in account currency has been met and your open profit drops down from 1,000 down to 800, it will then go ahead and execute the action you've stated here. Either put your account into liquidation only mode or go ahead and just flatten the trade and take the open profit. In this case, it should be somewhere around $800. It doesn't flatten or put you in liquidation only mode when the profit trigger value is met, but it does do it when the second value is reached. The next item here is trail daily net profit. This is a trailing feature and it's pretty nice. I'll explain how it works. So the first thing is, is that you have to enable it. When you enable it by setting it to yes, you can set an additional profit increase in account currency. I'll set this to 50. What this means is that when your daily net profit has increased 50, above your profit trigger value in account currency it is going to trigger this next item and what this next item does is it increases the floor it increases the profit value after trigger to flatten positions in account currency so if i set the amount to increase profit value after trigger to flatten positions in account currency i know it's a really long name 
if I set this to 25, what's going to happen when my open profit reaches 1,000 plus 50 is, it's going to change this 800 here to 825. And then following that, it will continue to repeat the behavior every time my daily net profit increases by another $50. So once it increases by another 50 to 1,100, it will then increase the 825 to 850 by another 25. All right, let's move on to loss management. Loss management is pretty straightforward. You have to turn it on and then you have to set a daily net loss limit. Let's say $500. So this means that when you lose $500, it will then go ahead and trigger this action. It doesn't matter if you set a negative or positive number here, it's always going to be interpreted as a negative. So I can put 500. You can choose between use liquidation only mode or actually to flatten the positions for the trading account once your loss trigger value is met. The last item is flatten positions at time. You turn it on by enabling the first item. And then the time to set here is in US Eastern time, keep that in mind. So if you set this to 16, this means 4 p.m. Eastern. If we have our action set to use liquidation only mode, what this means is that after 4 p.m. Eastern, we will not be able to put on any more trades or increase any existing positions. We will be able to close or reduce positions. So once you've set all your items in there, you click on commit this tab. You should see a message saying commit is successful. If you try and do it in a live account and it's not authorized, it will say not allowed. So I'll close this for now. And then once you've set the items, you'll notice that the read only values don't update right away. You have to select update at the bottom of the settings window and you get updated successful and then you'll see our values now come in here into the read only values. So I'm gonna follow up here by doing a quick example. Okay, so I'll disable some of these items and I'll just enable the profit management and the loss management. So let's set a profit trigger value of $50 and a profit value after trigger to $25. What this means is that when we reach a profit of 50, it's then gonna be monitoring for if our open profit drops down back to 25. If it drops back to 25, it's going to trigger this action right here. And let's set it to use liquidation only mode. For the loss management, I'll turn it on and I'll set the loss trigger value to $50 as well. When we lose $50, I wanna flatten the positions for the trade account and get locked out. So that's what I'm gonna set there. Now that I've set that, I'll click on commit this tab. And to see the items update, I'll click update at the bottom. Update is successful. Now keep in mind, I set some pretty tight values here. And this market here is the S&P 500 futures. The tick value is $12.50. So it's only gonna take about four ticks for these um, actions to get triggered. So what I'm gonna do is start by entering into a buy trade here. So I'll press buy. I entered a buy limit order right there on the uh, trading DOM or the chart trading DOM and we'll see if we get filled. So I didn't set a target or a stop just to show you how the functionality works. Now I'll go up to trade, open trade window for chart just so you can see. So now we just have to wait. If the market drops against us by four ticks, we should be locked out. And if the market goes in our favor by four or five ticks, then it will trigger the profit rule. So let's see, it looks as though we might get stopped out. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we've reached our daily max loss of $50 and the position was closed immediately. Now, if I go back over to the user profit loss management in the edit trade account window, I have to update it. It has not updated automatically, so I'll click on update. And we can see that our flatten operation performed for loss management, current trade date is set to yes. It tells us the time, and this is a time in UTC. It's not showing my local time here. And uh, that's pretty much it. So we can see that the loss management rule has been triggered at the loss limit of minus 50. Now I'll close this. Now just to show you what happens if you try and trade again, if I try and place any other order here, we'll get the trade service log up here with an order reject, trade order error, order increases position. User risk management has been triggered. You might still be in a position, but you might be in liquidation only mode. If you try to increase your position size, you will also get a similar error like this in the trade service log. Okay. 
That concludes this demonstration of the user profit loss management. Thank you for watching.